Welcome to the lecture series on numerical methods, uh, finite difference approach. In the last lecture, I have discussed about uh, like uh, finite difference approximations based on uh, Taylor series approximation and uh, Picard's method. So, in this lecture, I will just uh, go for like um, uh, numerical methods based on uh, this Euler's method and modified Euler's method and then we will just go for uh, Runge-Gutta method. So, in the last lecture, I have just uh, discussed that uh, whenever we will have like higher order differential equations with the initial conditions, then we can just reduce all the higher order differential equations into the set of uh, linear differential equations. So, if it is uh, like uh, order 1 equations are existing, then we can just use either this uh, uh, Picard's method or, or the uh, Taylor series expansion. Then we are just proceeding in a form that once we are just, uh, uh, we will have like Picard's method, then we will just uh, try to improve that method that is in the form of like Euler's method. And uh, once it is a uh, Euler's method we have, then we will just go for some higher order methods that is uh, in the order of like uh, order 2 that is as Euler's method here. Then like uh, to improve this Euler's method, again we will just go for this modified Euler's method. Then the improved form of this modified Euler's method is nothing but the Runge Gutta method here. So, if you will just go for this Euler's method here, so the same problem we can just consider that as like uh, if you will just uh, see here dy by dx, dy by dx that is nothing but uh, f of xy and uh, your initial condition that is given as y of x0 equals to y0 here. So, if the initial condition is uh, written in this form here, then first we will just uh, go for a graphical approach that if a curve is given, so at certain points we will have this differential representation, this means that this is just uh, satisfied or this differential equation is given at the point x0 and y0. So, if this differential equation is uh, provided at certain point, then at that point it can just uh, form a slope with the tangent line and if the tangent line is forming at that point, then based on that we can just uh, derive this uh, Euler's formula. So, in order to achieve this formula, if you will just uh, go for a true solution here, true solution means we can just distinguish this uh, solutions in two forms. One it is called a true solution which is based on this numerical methods, another one it is called analytical solution or the exact solution which can be obtained by using any of this uh, like real analysis methods. This is specifically called numerical analysis that is called a real analysis methods. So, to obtain this true solution at y equals to f of x, since dy by dx is provided at the point x0 and y0 there. If you will just uh, set off this coordinates here, that is in the form of like uh, x0, x0 means at this point we can just uh, put this point as x0 here and uh, corresponding to this we will have a y0 point here and at that point only we have this dy by dx slope can be formed with a tangent. So, especially if you will just consider y equals to f of x is the true solution and the exact value of y at x equals to x1, suppose on that curve if you will just consider as q here, that is nothing but y1 value here. So, corresponding to y1, we will have a improvement in x1 also, that is nothing but uh, we can just consider as x0 plus h here, that is nothing but x1. So, h means that is nothing but the space length from here to here, there. So, x0 to x1, the space length is h we have considered. And if you will just consider this Euler's method to approximate this value at y at x equals to x1 here, we can just assume dy by dx is provided as a f of x0 and y0, which is the slope of the tangent pr. If you just see, this is the tangent forming at the point x0 and y0, which is just intercepting this line qn that is nothing but the next functional value with the corresponding x1 value there over. So, if you will just uh, take this f of x0 and y0 that is nothing but uh, tan theta since it forms the slope here. So, tan theta is nothing but uh, we can just uh, say that this is if this is p this is uh, b here. So, tan theta is nothing but p by b here and if you will just define this r s here that is nothing but uh, we can just write h tan theta here 
tan theta especially we are just considering slope it means tan theta there over. So, that is why we are just writing f of x 0 and y 0 this equals to tan theta here. So, then R s equals to h tan theta then we can just define the total distance from here to here R n that is nothing but s n plus h tan theta. So, s n means we can just consider s n is nothing but y 0 distance from here. So, we can just write this one as like the next immediate value that is a R n if you will just uh, see here R n can be added with uh, like a q r here. So, then we can just find the total distance that is nothing but q n here. So, we, if you will just uh, write R n here, R n can be written as like a s n plus s n plus uh, h tan theta here. So, h tan theta means we can just uh, say that y 1 can be written in the form of y 0 plus h f of x 0 and y 0 here. And uh, the error associated with this value that is given by q r which is given by r equals to h square by 2 factorial f dash of zeta here. Since, if you will just uh, look at this picture here, the error means we can just say that the improvement that is just uh, taken from y 0 to y 1 there over. So, for that if you will just uh, consider this difference here that is nothing but h square by 2 factorial f dash zeta here. So, the general formula of this error Euler's formula is can be written as like uh, y n plus 1 this equals to y n plus h f of x n and y n here. Since the beginning if we are just approximating this formula as in the form of like uh, y 1 equals to y 0 plus h f of x 0 y 0 that is nothing but the y 1 improvement if you will just consider from this line here that is nothing but uh, this error term it is just uh, in a large sense we can just consider. And afterwards, if you will just consider this error term, again one more slope we have to consider which can reduce the error term there over. That is why if we are just considering this a uh, higher order terms here that is as uh, 1 in the first sense it is written in the form of y 0 plus h f of x 0 and y 0 here. And the second one we can just write this one as uh, y 2 this is nothing but y 1 plus h f of x 1 y 1 here. Similarly, if you will just proceed then in the nth form we can just write this one as y n plus 1 this is nothing but y n plus h f of x n y n here with the error term r equals to h square by 2 factorial f dash of zeta n y. Since this error term always represented in the first order differential equation form here where zeta n should be lies between x n to x n plus 1. Since whenever the slope is increasing from point to point this error is getting reduced and this error lies between this immediate uh, below point to the next approximated value. So, that is why in the beginning I have just uh, told that this uh, error for this Euler's formula is of order of h square or the second order approximation we are just getting for the error terms. And uh, if you will just go for a practical example here that is uh, based on Euler's method here. Suppose the question is given like using Euler's method compute y 1 and y 2 taking h equals to 0 0.1 from the following differential equation that is as uh, dy by dx equals to 1 plus x y square y 0 equals to 1 here also compute the error term there. So, if you will just uh, go for this uh, equation here especially we can just uh, write this equation as uh, dy by dx that is nothing but your f of x y here which is represented in the form of 1 plus x y square and y 0 is uh, provided as 1 here. So, that is why we can just write y dash as f of x y that is nothing but 1 plus x y square and uh, y double dash we can just uh, express this is nothing but f dash of x y this is uh, nothing but we can just write y square plus 2xy 1 plus xy square here. Since uh, already we have explained that one f dash of xy is nothing but we can just uh, write it as fx plus fy into f here. So, that is why I have just written in this form here. So, then especially for x equals to 0 0.1 here we can just write y 1 equals to y 0 plus h f of x 0 y 0 here. So, if you will just uh, write in this form since uh, every value it is known to us 
y0 equals to 1 here, x0 equals to 0 here. So, if I will just use these values, then I can just write this one as y1, this can be written as like 1 plus h, h is nothing but it is just specified as a like a 0 0.1. So, that is why 0 0.1 into your f of x y value that is nothing but I can just write as uh, like 1 plus x 0 y 0 square here. So, if I will just uh, do this one like uh, uh, the final form of this one 1 plus 0 0.1 into 1 here that is nothing but 1.1. So, in the error term if you will just go for this computation. So, epsilon 1 this can be written as like half h square like uh, y double dash of zeta here since f dash zeta it is just written in the formulation. So, that is why it is written as a half h square y double dash of zeta. This can be written as half of like h square f dash of zeta y where zeta should be lies between like 0 to 0 0.1 here. And especially I can just write 0 0.5 into 0 0.01 into 1.45662 here. Since f dash of zeta y, if you will just see, this is nothing but 1.45662 here at x equals to 0. So, that is why this final value it will just achieve as 0 0.00728. So, that is why this final uh, solution we are just uh, obtaining that is the order of uh, h square if you will just see 0 0.00728 it is just uh, represents that value corresponding to h equals to 0 0.1 here. So, then for uh, x equals to 0 0.2 if you will just uh, use this formula recursively then again we can just write this formula as y 2 equals to y 1 plus h f of x 1 y 1 here. So, if you will just put the value here that is y 2 equals to we can just write y 2 equals to y 1 plus h f of x 1 y 1 here. So, that is why y 1 is just uh, if you will just uh, see the value here that is just given as uh, 1.1 here over. So, that is why 1.1 plus h that is nothing but 0 0.1 here into your values that is as a functional value that is uh, like a 1 plus x y square here. 1 plus x y square means we can just write as a x plus y square means 1.1 it is just giving. So, final value we can just write that as 1.2121 here. So, maximum truncation error or error propagated from first f plus the local truncation error that is we can just write as epsilon 2 equals to epsilon 1 into 1 plus h f y of x 1 y 1 here. Since this error this is associated with the second approximation here. So, that is why we can just consider plus half of h square f dash of zeta y plus the local error that has been associated or already it is associated there over this is the error term here. So, in the complete form if you will just write this total error here this error can be written as epsilon 1 into 1 plus this h is there. So, f y of x 1 y 1 that is nothing but 2 h x 1 y 1 plus half h square into y square plus 2 x y into 1 plus x y square here. So, if you will just put all these values h equals to 0 0.1 and x 1 is a can be written as in the form of 0 0.1 also there and y 1 it is just the computed value that is as 1.1. If you will just see this y 1 value is coming as 1.1 here. So, that is why it can be written as uh, like uh, 0 0.00728 into 1.022 plus 0 0.005 into 1 plus 1.4692 plus 0 0.6272 here. And the final answer just it is just giving you 0 0.0179. If you will just uh, see this previous uh, uh, step error, so this error is just uh, given as a 0 0.00728. And in the next step, this error is reduced to like 0 0.0179 here. So, whenever we will just go for like higher steps, then the error will be minimized afterwards. So, then we will just go for like a modified or improved Euler's method. 
so in the Euler's method especially we are just using only the say first values that is like y1 equals to y0 plus hf of x0 y0 there and in the modified Euler's form we can just take the average of like a previous step calculation into the plus the next step calculation and uh, it can be since we are just taking the average values of these two we can just uh, modified form we can just write this formula as y1 equals to y0 plus h by 2 into f of x0 y0 plus f of x1 and uh, y1 there since two unknowns are associated in this formula here if you just see two formulas are also associated here so that is why we can just consider this y1 star it can be computed from the earlier step by using only Euler's method there. So, Euler's method especially it is written as y1 equals to y0 plus h f of x0 y0. So, that is why from this we can just cal calculate this y1 star at the beginning of uh, uh, the problem. Then successively we can just put these values in this formulation here and uh, if you will just uh, see in a fundamental way also this can improve the nature of this approximation compared to the earlier one. So, that is why I have just written the statement the Euler's method is uh, given by like y n plus 1 equals to y n plus h f of x n y n here having the error of order order of h square here second order. And the modified Euler's method is an improvement over the earlier method giving the error in the order of uh, h q here. And in this method especially y 1 can be obtained by using the earlier Euler's method and it can be improved by taking the average value of the gradients of uh, f of x 0 y 0 and f of x 1 y 1 star. Since y 1 is unknown to us that is why we are just using this uh, earlier Euler's method to get the value of y 1 in a improved form or in a modified form. So, then if you will just uh, take k as h of f of x 0 y 0 then we can just uh, write this one as or in the modified form y 1 can be written as y 1 equals to y 0 plus h by 2 f of x 0 y 0 plus f of x 0 plus h that is nothing but x 1 here. And then y 1 star which can be written as like y 0 plus h f of x 0 y 0 since already we have defined here that is as k 1 here k 1 is nothing but h f of x 0 y 0 which can be written as y 0 plus k 1 here. So, for the further improvement if you will just go for the error in the modified Euler's method to show this error if you will just expand this Taylor series as y 1 equals to y 0 plus h by 2 f of x 0 y 0 plus h by 2 if you will just take the next term that is as f of x 0 y 0 plus h del f by del x plus k del f by del y plus half h square del square f by del x square plus 2 h k del square f by del x del y plus k square del square f y del y square plus all other terms. Especially we are just uh, taking this one as in the form y 1 equals to y 0 plus h by 2 f of x 0 y 0 plus h by 2 f of x 1 y 1 there itself. So, that is why we are just considering since uh, x 1 can be written in the form of like x 0 plus h and y 1 can be written in the form of y 0 plus k h there. So, that is why it can be expanded in Taylor series form. and. Uh, in the if you will just expand all the terms then this is the combined form of this uh, all the terms here. If you will just uh, use like uh, k equals to suppose uh, h f of uh, x 0 y 0 here then we can just get the series as y 1 equals to y 0 plus h f by 2 plus h by 2 if you will just see then f plus h into del f by del x since k is replaced by here h f of x 0 y 0. So, h can be taken common. So, f can be multiplied with this term. So, it can be written in a compact form here. So, similarly if in this term also if you will just replace k by h f of x naught y naught. So, it can be represented as a 2 h f del square f y del x del y plus h f square del square f y del y square here. And in the final form if you will just see so, this can be written as y 0 plus h f plus if we will just take common <coughs> from all other terms that is if you will just see here h del f y del x here plus h f del f y del y here. So, if you will just uh, write in a compact form that is if you will just uh, take like h f by 2 and add it off then we can just write this one as 
or if you will just uh, subtract this hf by 2 from both these terms this can be represented as hf plus h square by 2 del f by del x plus f del f by del y so remaining terms are there so only we are just uh, adding h by hf by 2 term here subtracting from this one or you can just consider this addition of these two terms can be represented in this form here so now if you we want to find the exact solution that is y of x0 plus h that is nothing but y of x1 so if you will just uh, take the taylor series expansion so directly we can just obtain this taylor series expansion as y of x0 plus h so which can be written as y0 plus h y0 dash plus h square by 2 y0 double dash plus h k by 3 factorial y0 triple dash and if you will just uh, subtract like uh, from the earlier uh, formulation here y1 is there and this is y of x1 is here if you will just take the difference then we can just uh, find that this term is 0 this term is 0 this term is 0 here <coughs> and uh, we can just uh, obtain a, a subtracted term that is in the form of minus h cube by 2l del square f by del x square plus 2f del square f by del x del y plus f square del square f by del y square plus 2 del f by del y into y double dash here that is nothing but uh, order of hq so we are just uh, finding this uh, improved form of uh, this uh, like uh, euler's method if we are just uh, going for uh, like higher approximations so in the earlier method we have just obtained this uh, error is of order of h square here we are just obtaining this uh, error is of order of hq here if you will just uh, go for a practical example that is specifically if it is written in the form of like uh, dy by dx equals to x minus y and y0 equals to 1 here for x equals to starting point is like x0 equals to 0.2 and it is incremented by 0.2 and last point is 0.4 here so that's why it is just written as like uh, x0 equals to 0.2 incremented by 0.2 here so that's why we can just consider like x1 this can be written as a 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2 that is nothing but 0 0.4 here so initial value x0 is 0 0.2 and x1 is uh, like 0 0.4 so uh, two step calculation we have to move here so for x equals to 0 0.2 here if i will just uh, write the increment here increment means uh, i am just writing h equals to 0 point here so that is why x0 if initial value if you will just consider here that is as uh, y of uh, 0 is 1 here especially we can just write x0 equals to 0 and y0 equals to 1 then the first improvements if you just consider here that is uh, first improvements if you just uh, consider here that is uh, like uh, y0 as 1 then we have to find y1 here and uh, x0 is given 0 here then x1 is given as uh, x0 plus h here that is nothing but 0 plus 0 0.2 that is nothing but 0 0.2 here so based on this we will just find first y1 star here so for y1 star if you will just consider like y0 plus h f of x0 y0 here then y0 is given as a 1 especially i am just putting here then h is given as a 0.2 here then the formula that is as x0 minus y0 here so x0 is a 0 here minus y0 is a 1 here so if I will just uh, take uh, the total sum of the term here, so that is just giving you 0.8 here. So the immediate improvement if we want to find since y1 star we can just write this is the calculation from Euler's method only original Euler's method. And then if we want to find a modified form or a improved form of this Euler's method then y1 can be written as y0 plus h by 2 f of x0 y0 plus f of x1 y1 star here so y0 is given as a 1 here then h is 0.2 by 2 then f of x0 y0 it is just uh, obtained as uh, like uh, if you will just see here that is x0 minus y0 here that is a minus 1 then plus we can just write h by 2 0.2 by 2 here so uh, like um, f of x1 y1 star here so y1 star it is just computed as 0 0.8 here so if, if i'll just put x1 as a 0 0.2 0 0.2 minus 0 0.8 here so final answer it is just coming as a 0 0.84 here 
for x equals to 0 0.4 that is a we can just consider x 1 as a 0 0.2 here then x 2 equals to 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2 that is nothing but 0 0.4 here. So, at uh, y at 0 0.4 especially we can just say this one this can be obtained if you will just first compute y 2 star y 2 star can be written as y 1 plus h f of x 1 y 1 here that is y 1 can be written as 0 0.84 plus 0 0.2 into 0 0.2 minus 0 0.84 and the value is coming as 0 0.712 and specifically based on this y 2 star value we can just compute y 2 here. So, y 2 can be written as y 1 plus h by 2 f of x 1 y 1 plus f of x 2 y 2 star here. So, if you will put the y 1 value that is nothing but 0 0.84 here. So, h is 0 0.2 by 2 here then f of x 1 y 1 that is nothing but minus 0 0.64 plus 0 0.4 minus 0 0.712 here and the final value it is just uh, obtaining as 0 0.7448 here. So, analytic solution it can be obtained if you will just uh, take the direct integration of this differential equation and the value can be obtained as like x minus 1 plus 2 e to the power minus x here and uh, if we want to compute the value at uh, 0 0.2. So, uh, specifically if you will just put here like x equals to 0 0.2 then the value is given as 0 0.8375 here and for 0 0.4 the value is given as 0 0.7406 and if you will take this difference between these two values then we can just find the error in that method. Then we will just go for like uh, Runge Kutta method here. Runge Kutta method is uh, nothing but the uh, improvement of uh, like uh, uh, modified Euler's method. If you will just uh, see here we are just considering different terms as in the form of like um, k 1 as a function of like h f of x 0 y 0, k 2 as f of uh, x 0 plus h y 2 y 0 plus k 1 by 2 this is nothing but the improvement of like k 1 term in this term here. Then again we will just take a improvement of k 2 term in the next uh, uh, term here then again we will just consider a next improvement of uh, the uh, previous term in the next term there itself. If we will just take the combination of all the terms here then we can just obtain the final improvement of this term here. So, improvement can be added with this initial condition to get this uh, final solution of this problem here. So, if you will just go for a practical example based on this uh, Runge Kutta method we can just write here dy by dx equals to y minus x and y of 0 is 1.5 here. So, especially we can just write this initial condition x not equals to 0 and y 0 equals to 1.5 here and uh, we have to compute this values so that is as like x 1 equals to 0 plus 0 0.2 improvement that is 0 0.2 here and x 2 equals to 0 0.2 plus uh, 0 0.2 that is nothing but 0 0.4 here x 3 is nothing but 0 0.4 plus 0 0.2 that is nothing but 0 0.6 here. So, since the value is asked to compute of to 0 0.4 here. So, we have to compute these values at like x 0, x 1 and x 2 here. So, first uh, x 0 value it has been given to us. So, x 0 is written as like um, 0 here for h equals to 0 0.2 x 0 equals to 0 and y 0 equals to 1.5 we can just uh, use k 1 equals to h f of x 0 y 0 here. So, 0 0.2 into 1.5 minus 0 that is nothing but 0 0.3 here k 2 equals to h f of x 0 plus h by 2 y 0 plus k 1 by 2 here. So, that is why this value is given just given as 0 0.31 here then again for computation of k 3 if you will just consider these values as like h f of x 0 plus h by 2 y 0 plus k 2 by 2 then we can just write this value as a 0 0.311 then further improvement if you will just implement this k 3 value in k 4 then we can just find the value as a 0 0.3222 here. So, final after combining all the four terms here the final improvement is obtained as 1 by 6 k 1 plus 2 k 2 plus 2 k 3 plus k 4 here and uh, the value is obtained as 0 0.3107 here. So, y 1 can be written as y 0 plus k that is nothing but uh, we can just write 1.8107 here.
then for the further improvement of this Runge Kutta method, systematically we will just use all other values like uh, x2 equals to 0 0.4 if we want to find, then we can just implement here x1 value and y1 value for the further improvement of k1, k2, k3 and k4. Finally, we can just uh, obtain y2 as a 2.14587 here. Thank you for listening this lecture.